Hey everybody and welcome back to Lori's Boston Found where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori and today I have a super fun thrift haul from the Goodwill Outlet Challenge with two of my loves, Jack and Ryan from Jack Valentine's YouTube channel. I will list all of their information in the description. I will give you the link to their YouTube channel and definitely follow Jack and Ryan on Instagram. They have such a great eye for fashion as well as personalities that I just adore. We've been wanting to collaborate for a while and we decided we wanted to do a bins challenge. So what you're gonna see today is the video and the footage from what was supposed to be part of my Thrift Across New England series, which has been postponed. I just did a video giving you a life update on what's been going on and I'm finally feeling a little bit better. So I am trying to get caught up on some of my videos. Um, I've been sick for a couple weeks. So since we did a Goodwill bins challenge to see who did better at the bins, Jack and Ryan live in Minnesota and they went to their bins out there. I figured I would use the footage from the one trip that I made to Maine that was supposed to be for Thrift Across New England. We'll be back to Maine. There, it was such a great experience here. So first we're gonna show you some footage from the day of, and you're gonna actually see me doing some sourcing at the bins, and then we will get into the haul. If that sounds good to you, hit that like button and let me know you like a good Goodwill outlet haul video and consider subscribing if you want to be part of my community. I usually release a couple videos a week. I have a lot of content planned for February and I would love for you to be part of my community. So let's get right into it. So I just arrived um, at the Goodwill outlet here in Maine and I'm about 10 minutes past the time the rotation was scheduled to start, which means people definitely waited outside and then um, went in. I'm looking, I just saw about three or four people just walk right through the door. So I'm not sure how it goes here. I'm going to mask up and I am going to head inside and I'm so excited. I hope it's not as crazy as it usually is in New Hampshire. We'll have to see. All right, right off the bat, it is so nice to see that all of these shoes are banded together with an elastic. I am surprised when I first walk in 15 minutes after the rotation had begun that there's nobody near these shoe bins. However, after kind of poking through, um, I'm, I really don't find anything. It's really convenient to look through and see that everything is together but I'm trying to be pretty choosy today, so I move on to another bin. They did have a fair amount of purses this day. I liked this Talbot's bag, um, and I can't remember why I passed on it, but there must have been a stain or a flaw someplace. Uh, it's pretty quiet here. Um, there is pretty much only one person per bin. There doesn't seem to be any issues with social distancing here, which I was happy to see, but it's all kind of at a very casual pace. Like people just have a good rhythm at this location. So you can see this bin was pretty empty. Um, going on to the next one, <laughs> I end up picking up these silly socks for Angelina. Hard to pass up new items for me. And then I saw this hat over here on the right. Um, Dobbs, and I meant to look that up, but I've been struggling with like structured hats. Uh, they just haven't moved for me. This is just a Under Armour beanie that I do decide to pick up. Those types of hats I love to pick up. They're easy to store. This is a glimpse of the back room. They have the cleanest bins bathrooms ever here. Always good to know. And these are all the tables that have yet to come out. Look at that. I just think it's so crazy. Um, that there is still this mentality out there that there is not enough to go around. There's so much excess, it's actually just astronomical to see in person. There's a very shallow table, I've never seen anything like this, and it's all jewelry. In the bins at New Hampshire, I find that most of the jewelry and little trinkets like this are usually just messed in with the hard goods. It's a fake Chanel bag that I obviously passed on, but figured I'd show you. 
So I didn't find anything in this little trinket treasure trove, but it was fun to look through. Uh, that just reminded me of my youth, those friendship pin bracelets. Um, some little Hawaiian beads that were nice. Uh, just fun to look through here. Then I find like this huge section of beads that are just like lumped together. And uh, maybe there would be something special inside, but there it is. Just <laughs> that was a whole big knot. I was interested to see some of the sunglasses mixed in here, but I actually didn't find anything. All right, that was almost too good to be true. I literally just walked in there. There were carts available. It was so quiet. There was nobody near the shoes. They banned all of their shoes here, but I, I didn't find any shoes that I liked. They also had two huge bins of shoes that you saw me kind of going through um, for a while, but they were, you know, like four feet deep. So there was only so much that I was going to dig. And I'm trying to be pretty selective. Partway through the rotation, a guy came up to me and said that their credit card machine was down. So now I'm going to go get cash. They're holding my carriage and I'm gonna go back for the second rotation um, at 2 p.m. So. So I am probably going to go grab a bite to eat, but really, I mean, I don't know. It was, it was so quiet. If anybody has not seen my most recent trip to the New Hampshire bins, where I just say, are the bins still worth the effort? This is a completely different experience than what I have been having in New Hampshire. As far as just the ease of getting in, there's plenty of space once you get in there. This is a much smaller area than the bins of New Hampshire. It was really good. I'm looking forward to coming back at two o'clock and getting in right at the start of the rotation. Um, so they allow you to be in there for about an hour and then you need to check out between that hour and hour and 15 minutes, but it's so relaxed. I mean, I'm sure it gets pretty busy here at times too. I don't know if I'm just lucky. This is a Monday that I'm shopping, but I was really happy. I'm excited to go back and then really go through my carriage and my cash and check out. So I'm going to go to the ATM and probably grab some lunch got some food and I got some cash and now I'm back in the parking lot it is 1 36 the doors open at 2 p.m. and there are maybe seven people in line I can't express how different this is I'm debating if I should get out of my car and go wait in line um, it doesn't seem like there's going to be a huge crowd heading in a few more people are starting to filter in I think I'm gonna give it another 10 minutes and then hop in line at like 1.45. I hope I find some really good stuff inside. All right, I am back inside and I am actually in my sorting process right now. I have two carts going and I'm just poking through my stuff here and deciding what I'm keeping and what I am putting back. Um, and this was a really good trip. So this is a combination of the first rotation and the second rotation. And um, yeah, I just found a little corner over here by electronics and by the little trinket table. And this coat I went back and forth on. And then I am on my way. Enjoy the little scenic ride back to Massachusetts. All right, everybody, uh, welcome back to the haul portion of this video. My experience in Maine was so great. Um, and although this was originally supposed to be part of my Thrift Across New England series, I have 100% intentions of going back when I actually do film this series because I love, love these bins. Um, they're just so easy to get in. The people are so kind. They are not as crowded as New Hampshire. The lines were not as bad, at least on this day. I did not have to wait at all for a long time. The first round, I went right in 15 minutes after the rotation started. Um, and then the second rotation, I waited for like 15 minutes and then went right in. There was just, there's no drama. There was no drama at this place, which I loved. As mentioned earlier, we are trying to see who did better at the bins, if Jack and Ryan, had me beat or if I managed to pull out a win here. I've had such a good time doing my collaborations lately and I've been so looking forward to working with Jack and Ryan on this little adventure. So let's dig in and see what I got and you guys can let me know what you think.
So I talked to Jack and Ryan. I don't think that either one of us had this like crazy great day at the bins, but I actually think that is a really good thing because you will be able to see what just a regular day at the Goodwill outlets looks like. Um, I managed to find a few things that I was very excited about, but generally most of these items are going to be like that $20 mark, $20 to $25 price point. And then I think I have four or five items that I was super excited to find. So I don't know what I should start with. Let's start with some of the chill stuff first. Although you probably saw some during my thrift with me. We're gonna start with this little Under Armour beanie. You can see right here, it's like a heathered gray and it just has a gold logo. I love picking up hats at the bins. They take three seconds to photograph and um, they also don't take up a lot of storage. So if you can find cute hats, I have four in this haul and I'm excited about all of them. This is fleece lined, super simple. I'll probably list that for about $18 and it will probably sell for around $15. The price at this bins, I believe, were $1.49 per pound. I ended up doing two rotations, but their credit card machine went down in between rotations. So they're so nice in Maine that they held on to my cart and just put my name on it so that when I went in for the second round, I just kind of picked up where I left off and continued shopping. So this is two rounds. Um, I ended up spending about, so I spent like $34 in change and I have that I'm going to list about 23 items and then a couple things I think I'm just giving away, but I'll share with you. So my average cost of goods was low and it's $1.49 per pound for their textiles and their shoes at this particular location. So um, you're gonna see what I got for that money. I did pretty well. Next up, I found this vintage Mickey Mouse Disney snapback. It just says since 1928. I just got this out of the wash. Um, what indicates to me that it is vintage is that it is made in the USA. And this is just kind of like a 90s look. It's got Mickey on the side here. I'll probably, I might list this around $25 because it's like a vintage 90s hat, I'm assuming. Um, and it's in really great condition. I thought that was super cute. I got five hats, five. Um, I love picking up Carhartt. I always, find that Carhartt brings a lot of attention to my closet. This has some fading on it, so I'm definitely going to have to mark that um, in the listing that there's some discoloration slash fading, but I'll list this around $20 and it will probably sell for about 15 because it is that kind of worn in look, like that kind of buttery denim color. So really cute, I like, I like a good hat. This one's really cute. I like this a lot. Next up, I got two Love Your Melon hats. I love to sell Love Your Melon. I don't know if these are as popular as they were about a year ago, but um, they do have a great following. I found these side by side in the bins and um, I will probably list them for $25 unless they're one is a rare color or something, but I don't think so. They just say, love your melon. These are made in the USA. Um, they're great, great quality beanies, super cute. They have a great following. So I will list those for about 25 and hopefully sell them for around $20. Next up, I found these cute little nautical shorts. Um, the brand is Sandro, S-A-N-D-R-O. These are a size 10. Um, I thought that this was a good pickup with spring right around the corner. I love that they're high-waisted and they have the buttons on the side. Uh, these are really cute. Size 10 is a good size. Again, super easy to photograph. This is a shirt I picked up recently, this brand, and I had never seen it before. And the brand is Alan Flusser. And this is a designer who makes uh, custom shirts. And it reminds me, this particular shirt reminds me a lot of Robert Graham, although it doesn't have like the signature fold over design on the inside or anything. But this is like a chocolate brown and orange shrimpy colored paisley shirt. It's in an extra large. This just has to be steamed. I don't love to pick up button down shirts at the bins because they're a lot of work, but I will probably list that for like $32 and I hope to get between 20 and 25 for it. Maybe I'll list it a little, maybe 38. If I list things at 38 and I do 20% off, it's 
Um, when I send offers to Likers, it's $30 um, with discounted shipping. So I, I do price a lot of things at $38 and then I offer 20% right off the bat. So it's kind of a sin to go to the Goodwill outlet in Maine and not pick up something from L.L. Bean. Uh, Freeport, Maine is the home of L.L. Bean and you always find a ton of L.L. Bean here in New England and especially in Maine. They get a lot of samples at their bins and there were quite a few of these uh, cardigan sweaters. This actually reminds me of Ryan. Ryan, this is an extra large. If you like this and you would wear it, it seems short for you, shorter, but if you would wear this, I will definitely send it to you, hon. Um, so I got this charcoal gray men's L.L. Bean extra large 100% cotton cardigan sweater, and it's just such a classic. I love that it can be worn by men, by women. I think it can be worn like slouchy on a very small frame. Um, you can unbutton it and it's just a classic and I love the brown buttons. It's in mint condition So if Ryan doesn't want it, I will probably list it around 40 45 dollars and see how that goes I also have something else that I need to ship to Ryan and um, Jack that I got on sale another L.L. Bean piece. This is just a gray classic fleece zip up i i kind of prefer the quarter zips on these but um, this is just so classic i would probably list this around that 38 dollars and i think this has quite a good following the l.l bean fleece people love their fleeces i kind of wish it had l.l bean on the outside but it doesn't um, what is the size on this um it looks like the size is washed off. The tag's kind of old, but I would estimate that this is like a men's medium or large. So it's in great condition. These all just came out of the wash. Okay, this is one of the pieces I don't know why I hemmed and hawed over, maybe because it needs a little bit of work, but when I got home, I was so happy that I decided to pick it up. It's just a vintage suede coat with a real Southwestern feel. The brand is Pele, P-E-L-L-E. It says New York, Milan. But look at this coat. I'm gonna stand up for this. It is this green suede, and then this is all wool with the Southwestern pattern. Um, so I do need to sweater shave some of the wool. You can see a little bit of the pilling there, but look at this. It's just so unique. I love it and I think somebody else is going to love it as well. And now that I'm looking, you can zip off the sleeves, which would make for an interesting vest, but this is just such a cool vibe and I love that it's winter time. It's a great time to list it. It's suede, it's vintage, it's Southwestern, Bohemian. Um, I can totally picture this on a Free People model and this being like a $300 piece at Free People. So I was very excited about that, but at first I wasn't. At first I was like, do I wanna get this? Cause coats take up so much room. I'm gonna have to sweater shave that, blah, blah, blah. Like when you're in the bin zone, sometimes I don't know. And then you think of what I probably paid. I probably paid $3.50 for this. So I'm very excited. I will probably list this around $75 because with vintage, it's just hard to price things. You don't always know where they're going to move, um, but I'll check the market. I'll see, you know, I'll look at some comps and then I'll go from there, but at least $50, maybe $75. I'm saving my two favorite things. This I picked up, um, I meant to wash this. It's like a wax coated messenger bag. Um, I still don't have my sense of smell back. I'm recovering from COVID and um, I'm starting to feel better and better every day, but I'm still pretty low energy. I get out of breath pretty easily and I still don't have my sense of smell. But I did when I bought this and um, this had a little bit of like a mildewy smell, like I really wanna wash it, but it's wax coated and it's a messenger bag from J. Crew in really great condition. So once I get this washed, um, or maybe I'll just steam it and spray it with my uh, neutralizing spray because it's actually in beautiful condition, but I just want to freshen it up a little bit. And I'll probably list that between $35 and $45. This I might just send right to the, uh, right to thread up. Uh, this is Eileen Fisher. It is a size, what size is this? This is not really my style at all and dresses move pretty slow for me, but it is an extra large and it is a linen blend and it's just this like midi dress, like almost maxi length dress. It's a longer dress 
and it's got like smocking in the front. Definitely not my style, but definitely for $2 at the bins, Eileen Fisher in an extra large gotta say yes to that but i don't know if i want to list this on my own so um, that might be something i send off these were just uh thermal underwear that i'm giving to my mom they were new with tag size medium they're super soft and my mom is always cold so i'm going to just give that to my mom when i tell her about it she'll say give it to me for christmas next year everything i say she's like wrap it up for christmas i'm like christmas is in 11 months mom i'm gonna give it to you now she's too cute all right this was a betsy johnson bag they have a lot of handbags at this location i was surprised i got this betsy johnson bag with this hot pink bow and the stripes and it's got this really cool liner i like to sell betsy johnson eventually it always sells for me some pieces move faster than others um but i don't know this might be like a 30 to 38 dollar price tag and i always take offers i got these brand new cuddle duds extra plush seamless leggings in a size large um, these are cozy i might just list these up pretty quickly and remember i've been cross posting all of my stuff to ebay so a lot of things like this i'm very excited to list over on ebay maybe i'll list these for 20 25 dollars and then cross post them to ebay those are super cozy i love cuddle duds they're so soft you can buy them at kohl's um, but they're kind of expensive when you buy them at full retail they have a definite following but i don't think the resale is that great but new with tag i didn't want to leave them behind this is similar to how I felt about the Eileen Fisher, although I like this style a little bit better. It was a brand new with tag, loft um, dress, and $79.99. This is actually a cute style, though. Um, it's a little bit of a shorter, like a knee-length dress with a wraparound belt. Just very easy. I can see this like moving into spring, starting to think about spring, even though we are getting 12 inches of snow as I speak. <laughs> I'll have to give you a window shot because we are like, it is coming down. We just got the call. Kids, um, even though they're learning remotely, they're they're at school they have a traditional snow day tomorrow from school and today was an early release because we're supposed to get like a foot um, here outside of boston um, so this is a super cute dress i'll probably list that for about forty dollars brand new and see loft tends to do not so bad i i really only pick up loft when i'm at the bins unless it's a really special piece for a really good price but um that was great i love that it's new with tag so we'll see how that does the crazy thing about the the bins at maine is that uh they have a ton of shoe selection and most of their shoes are put together but they if you saw me when i was digging through you saw that one of the bins is just like you know four feet tall and it's just a cardboard box and a lot of the shoes i wasn't interested in but like you really have to do a, a lot of digging and then they had a couple other bins that were the more shallow traditional bins but i didn't get too many shoes but i like what i got these are seychelles this brand is sometimes sold at anthropology this is like a little metallic sandal uh, with the ankle strap and these are like brand new condition. They're really cute. This brand doesn't do tremendous for me. I just want to show you the detail here. You can see the metallic. This is a slow moving brand for me. I pretty much stopped picking this up at normal thrift store prices, but at the bins, I really liked this style. I can even picture this with some ankle jeans. Um, ankle length like skinny raw hem super cute i just thought these were very classic i liked these a lot probably list those around 30 35 dollars i got these new with tag um, these were actually in plastic um, wrap mucklucks little slippers really cute again these are like a perfect thing for ebay super lightweight i could ship these and only charge like 3.99 for shipping and they're cute they're like a fair aisle pattern and they have just like the the little uh treaded bottoms but really adorable this bag is so pretty this was another ll bean piece that i picked up but it does have a flaw that i thought i could get out but i couldn't it's this beautiful pebbled leather um, black crossbody purse it's so nice but you can see there's a little bit of like remnant paint there and then you'll see it's got navy blue interior this leather is so soft but you can see right here there's paint here and paint here so i was really hoping i'd be able to get it off i wasn't sure if it was just like a it's like real paint so um 
and I'm afraid if I use anything that will get the paint off. I might try Goo Gone, um, but I don't want to ruin it even more because once you close it up, it's really not bad. I still think I could get like a good $20 for this bag um, as is, but if it didn't have that paint, this would have been such a great pickup. The, the quality is just gorgeous. I love the blue lining, um, and it's also blue on one side of the strap. Really cute, cute bag. Another L.L. Bean piece. Um, so I was disappointed with that paint. Okay, a few more things. I'm saving my favorite two pieces till the very end, so you gotta stick around. Um, all right, this is just a really nice, super soft, uh, shruggy type of wrap scarf. Um, and I picked this up only because it was new with tag. Uh, Nicole's Boutique. This is just a quick, easy listing. You know, I might charge like $20 for this or $25 and then take offers. It will probably sell between $15 and $20. Really pretty. I love that. The colors are beautiful. Um, there was a nice gentleman who was going through, actually, these and the last pair of shoes that I'm going to share with you, which was one of my highlights. Um, there was um, a guy there who was sorting through um, and I had one of these and he didn't didn't want them. When, when I approached him, he's like, oh, you have this, this is Born, it's a good brand, and he gave it to me. So I picked these up. They are in excellent condition. Probably list these between 40 and 50 and they'll probably sell between 30 and $40. They're chocolate brown. Not sure what the size is. They look like they're like a, maybe a size nine or so. Size nine, yep. Um, in this nice chocolate brown. Born is just a comfort shoe brand. They do all right. They're, they're in the same league as like Clark's and Merrill's and stuff like that. I got uh, reusable veggie bags <laughs> that I will not be selling. Um, I will use these for my own use or give them to my mom for when we go to the grocery store. I got these cute little puppy dog striped poodle socks that I there's some European brand. I don't know um, where these are from. Maybe they look like they're almost like Ikea, like they look like Scandinavian writing. Um, but these are adorable. These I am also not selling. Oh gosh, it's so funny. I'm just sitting here. I forgot this right here is a bag from Talbot's that already sold. I have it in a pile here to ship out. I'm so glad I can show it to you because this bag is beautiful. Look at this leather bag. This sold for $45 in a day on eBay. Um, so it's all packaged and ready to ship out. This is what I do when I have a crossbody strap. I detach it and I put it in like a little storage bag with a thank you sticker and I tuck that inside. So this is beautiful. I loved the style of this. The second I saw this, I grabbed it. And the crazy thing about a lot of these bags is they just, nobody, people had been through these bins a lot and people were just kind of passing these things by. So yeah, this was $45 paid for my entire trip to the bins. Don't you love that? That's like the best when you sell that first item and it pays for everything. I feel like one other item from this day may have sold, but I'll have to look. I thought these were just so damn cute. I had to grab them. They're like little baby bogs. I couldn't find a size on them because they're kind of messy on the inside, but um, there is a tag. I will eventually find the size or I'll just measure the bottoms. I like to sell bogs. I usually pick them up when I'm at places like the bins and I just thought these were so adorable. And this same guy, the same guy had the pair of three shoes that I ended up buying and these were one of them. He tossed back. Sometimes it's just about being patient at the bins. I was not in too much of a hurry and so I just was kind of waiting it out. At this particular place you only had an hour to shop. I think it was an hour um, and then you went back out to your car, came back in, they cleaned. Um, although I did notice on the second rotation they let us in like 15 minutes early once the line was going. They're just a lot more free-flowing there and yet everybody was like I don't know. I felt like people were really respectful with social distancing. Everybody was super nice. Um, so yeah, I got these. Sorry, my voice isn't the same. Okay, last two items, and I'm very excited about these. These might help me win this competition. These were one of the shoes that I found when I first walked in and that the guy ended up tossing back. I didn't see that he had them but I saw when he tossed them back and got in line. I'm like, did he just throw back my other Doc Martin? And I was so excited, because look at the condition of these shoes. The bottoms are in such great condition. Oh, these are the Stanton, the Stanton. These are in brown, and they are, 
a size men's 10, which is great. They're in super great condition. I'll probably list these. I have to look, maybe $60, $70. I'm not sure what they're going for. And hopefully they'll sell around the $50 mark. But anytime you get a solid pair of Doc Martens at the bins, it's a good day. And these are in really great condition. So this was worth the trip in and of itself. And last but not least, you probably saw me in the video as I was going through and I was super excited when I found this piece. Um, it had been there. It wasn't, it was in a bin that I think a few people had seen because I got to the first rotation late. I didn't get there until 1215 and the rotation started at 12. So by the time I got to this, people had already been through this bin. I'm, I'm sure you can already recognize who it might be, but I'm going to come in here and all I saw was this when I was shopping and I knew immediately that it was Johnny was. And I was like, did I just find Johnny was? in the first five minutes of being at this bin. I knew it was going to be a pretty decent day, but look at the back. This is where the party's at, is back here. It's so nice, and um, I was just so thrilled to find this. So I did have to disclose that the tag was cut out. I matched the RN number. I looked up Johnny Was RN number. And the RN is 87291 and it matched. So that's how I was able to confirm that this was a Johnny Was piece. So I just mentioned, I took a picture of the label that had been cut. I estimated the size. There was one other one of these listed and her chest, her armpit to armpit measurement was 19 inches for an extra small. This was 21 inches. So I'm estimating this is like a size small, medium, and I just, you know, guided my potential buyers to look at the measurements. And yeah, it's flawless. I steamed it, I took pictures. So it's not silk though. It is 100% Cupra rayon. So I thought it was silk. Most of the pieces that I find from Johnny Was um, are usually silk. But anyways, I was really excited about this. I have this priced at $75, and I suspect it will sell around $50. I kind of wish this embroidery was on the front, because I think this is the showstopper. Um, but the front is really pretty, and we are now in February. Maybe somebody will like this like romantic red based floral Johnny Was top. So that is my entire haul. How did you think I did? I had a lot of fun shopping in Maine. I will definitely go back when I am doing my Thrift Across New England series and um, I'm really excited to go see what Jack and Ryan found. So make sure that after you watch my video, you check out their video and you leave a comment and you let us know who you think won the Goodwill Outlet Bins Challenge. I would say this was a pretty decent day. It wasn't great um, where many of my dollar values are gonna be like under $20. However, I did find like four pieces like I mentioned that I think made it all worthwhile. So remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I always love bringing you hauls from the Goodwill Outlet. Um, leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of Jack and Ryan. Make sure you subscribe to their channel. You will love them. They do so many like Bolo brand videos. Jack is the master of the real real and gives you updates and he knows so much about brands that they take and they are one of my favorite couples. So definitely check them out and let us know your thoughts. All right, thanks everybody so much for watching. I'll be back really soon with a new video. Take care everybody, love you, bye.